Hello and a very warm welcome to a special episode of What's in This Week's Open Times with me, Finn Nixon. And me, Sandy Neal. This week we are coming to you from Paisley Town Centre, where the Royal National Mod is well underway in a range of venues. It's a overcast day here in Paisley and we felt a drop of rain earlier, but that will definitely not put a dampener on the spirits of the musicians and poets that will be taking to the stage later today. Nor us. What do we have for you this week in the Open Times? As always, there's lots of news and photographs for you in the newspaper and at www.opentimes.co.uk. And remember that we are always happy to hear your stories and see your photographs. You can send them in to editor at opentimes.co.uk, call us on 01631 568000 or message us on Facebook, Instagram or Twitter. Sandy Neal, of course, joins me here outside one of several impressive venues that is being used for the celebration of Gaelic culture and language, the Paisley Town Hall, which is just behind us here as we come to you. How's your week been so far, Sandy? Well, thank you very much, Finn. Well, Paisley, Paisley is a glorious town, and I have some facts for you. Uh, famous buddies, as Paisley residents are known, include actors Gerard Butler, Tom Conti, and David Tennant, and musicians Paolo Natini and Jerry Rafferty. The Coates family, which seem to have built most of Paisley, at one time made 90% of the world's sewing thread. And the fashion icon that I am, that is Paisley's... I think that might be the Paisley Abbey Bells. So I think that's we'll the Abbey Bell. For a minute, that adds a bit of atmosphere, I suppose. Uh, and um, there it is. It's only 8.45 in the morning, so just a short bell. Right. Um, you can... Well, I was just about to say the fashion icon that I am. I am wearing, in your honour, a huge, bright Paisley pattern tie just for this uh, podcast. Uh, but Gaeldom has descended on this Renfrewshire town, Scotland's biggest town, by the way, for Paisley's first national mod in a decade. What's been happening? Well, uh, in the singing and the poetry, we've had victories for Mull, Harden American, Fort William, Sky, Barra, and Oban, and in particular, Lochnell Primary School, Loch Gilphead Joint Camp campus and Salon Primary School. While in the piping, a pupil of Portree High School returns home to Sky with a clutch of medals and a young lad from Loch Arbor Gaelic Primary School took gold thanks to his beautiful fiddle playing. An Argyle side won the Mod Shinty Cup, plus you can find out who the Mod's new Hebridean ambassador is and see the sp- stunning entries for the Highland Art Prize. And you can keep up to date with the week's contests at www.opentimes.co.uk Finn, over to you. Well, thank you very much, Sandy. And I can confirm Sandy is wearing the Paisley tie. It's looking very splendid. It's gorgeous, isn't it? It's brilliant. It's huge. <laughs> <laughs> well, this week I've been, I haven't been wearing a tie, but I have been sitting on sitting in on performances of poetry and song with youngsters singing their hearts out at venues just five minutes from where we are standing here today, just outside Paisley Town Hall. If you pick up a copy of the Open Times on Thursday, available from one of the local shops, and a local shop here, I noticed, but a local shop to Oban and, gar- and and petrol stations, you can read a roundup of an action-packed day of talent on Monday and read all about what's been happening earlier this week. On the first full day that I spent here in Paisley, I was amazed by the array of young talent on display, with the Mull Mod Club just one of the performers that will be bringing a lot of silverware back to Argyle. Cecilia Stuart Fotheringham from Straff of Appen Primary School told me it was a dream come true after she wowed over the judges for her first mod win in the solo singing Learner P6 to P7. Elsewhere, as Sandy mentioned, there was silverware for Arda Merkin, with the area's high school students and two Dunbeg Primary School students singing their hearts out. To win medals, the Dunbeg Primary School students were Olivia Carson and Oren Mackay in the solo singing Learner P4 and 5. Well done to them both. These are just some examples of the triumphs for West Highland youngsters at the Royal National Mod 2023. And it's certainly been a fantastic week of performances and it has been a fantastic week so far. As we mentioned, we have a full report and photographs in this week's Open Times newspaper and you can read our updates throughout a busy week here in Paisley at www.opentimes.co.uk. Meanwhile, our colleague back in the Open Times office, Kathy Griffiths, has also been finding out what else has been happening in Open, Argyle and the Islands. Over to you, Kathy. 
Well, thanks for that, boys. You're obviously having far too much fun without me over there in Paisley. But meanwhile, back here in Oban, we've been hearing how low passenger numbers have grounded flights between Oban and Isla after air operator Hebridean Air Services have said that the service is no longer commercially viable. Also, severe rainfall has taken its toll on Kilninva Bridge. That means that after all the recent weather and flood chaos, potentially more communities in Argyll could be temporarily cut off by road. That's including the islands of Seal and Ling. There's also about 10 farms on the other side of the bridge. Now, the council's put in emergency weight restrictions on the bridge so it can carry out urgent repairs. It's been very clear saying if they don't do it now, it could mean long-term closure for the bridge. So the work's got to be done, but there's going to be all sorts going on. There could be queuing uh, traffic. There's also going to be times when the bridge is completely um, closed off for any access, especially when workers are actually underneath the bridge that's for obvious uh, reasons so um, the farmers are particularly concerned it's their busy one of their busiest times of the year there's lots of sales coming up so they're going to be in talks with the council and also there is no bus at the moment um, from Oban to Seal and Ling it's going to stop on the uh, the junction on the main road as you turn off from Oban but they are hoping West Coast Motors is hoping to be able to put a minibus on so uh, keep an eye out on uh, announcements about that and Oh, what a lovely, lovely story. This is one of the stories that will make you smile and grin from ear to ear. It's all about Jamie the boar, who was absolutely gorgeous, who saved his own bacon after being swept away in flood water. I'm not going to tell you anything else about it. You've got to read all about it yourself in the paper or online because it's an incredible story. Lovely photos and uh, we've even made a little video about it. So there you go. Right, you see, boys, I too am having lots of excitement. Over to you. Thank you for that, Kathy, and we look forward to reading all of those stories in this week's newspaper and on the website. Just some sports news to round us off here in Paisley, and one of the island's own drivers triumphed in this year's Beaton's Building Supplies Mull Rally, as we report on a famous win for Fergus Barlow in a thrilling 51st edition of the 134-mile stage race. The Oban Squash and Tennis Club are gearing up to host a second edition of the Professional Squash Association event later this month, welcoming 24 professional players to Atlantis Leisure. Oban Lawrence men and women rugby sides were also in action last weekend, with full reports about how they fared against East Kilbride and West of Scotland. Elsewhere we have the usual detailed shinty roundup from across the West Highlands and a report on another successful night for Adam Brook in the Oban and Districts Darts League. Don't forget, you can read all these stories and much more at www.oventimes.co.uk or by picking up a newspaper in local shops and petrol stations. We also love hearing from you, so if you have a story, especially about the Royal National Mod that we might not have heard, get in touch. You can call us on 01 631 568 000, email editor at oventimes.co.uk or drop us a message on one of our social media platforms. For now though, thank you for listening to us at the Royal National Mod in Paisley. Goodbye from me, Ben Nixon. And goodbye from me, Sandy Neal. Bye. Bye.